Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using these MFT products that I recently got um, in one of their Blitz Day sales. Yay! And um, I, the day I got them, I made these two cards. Actually made three, but one I made off camera. So uh, this stamp set has so many great sentiments for really for all occasions, like sending you a paper hug. You could use that anytime, not just when someone's sick. Um, so I thought that was really versatile. Plus I loved the little stand. Um, I thought that would be good for like a farmer's market scene, a kissing booth, whatever, lemonade stand. <laughs> So I know that this, I can stretch the stamp set very easily. Okay, so I'm going to stamp out everything with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink on my opaque um, accent cardstock, which is 100 pounds. And then I'm bringing in these Catherine Puller inks. This is the Zen Collection, and I am going to just swatch out all eight colors over here on my glass mat. I am going to use these for watercoloring today. Watercoloring is one of my favorite ways to color images. It's most definitely uh, what you'll see most often on my channel, but I did recently order some Copic markers. Um, which I'm very excited about. I have been using Spectrum Noir markers since I started card making years ago, and I am going to be uh, relieving them of their duty, and they will be going to my daughter, who has been enchanted with them, and she has Ohuhu markers that I got for her off Amazon, but she is going to be so excited when she gets my Spectrum Noirs. And I am downsizing my marker collection. So I had the full collection of Spectrum Noirs, and now I am just going to keep it extremely simple. I'm going to build like a beautiful rainbow and have a little bit of variety within that rainbow, but keep it pretty simple. So I'm showing you here, the coloring went pretty well. Um, I definitely would recommend that you put down, don't do wet on dry with these inks. I would do wet on wet. So like for this bottom piece, I did wet on dry and it's very rustic looking, which is fine because it's wood. Um, but that would not be very pleasing if you were trying to get a smooth blend. So if you're trying to get a smooth blend and you want to watercolor with these marker or with these inks, I would definitely recommend wet on wet. Um, I'm just giving them a test run, trying to use them in lots of different ways and in different circumstances. So I colored up all of my images with them except for the tree stump where I brought in my distress oxide and this is the tea dye color. I thought it went nicely with the palette. And I just love this color palette. Very sweet. All right. So the cards I'm making today are A2. And I got this die set off of In Love Arts. Um, I've just placed that one order with them, and it was really kind of experimental. I've seen other YouTubers like Pink Strawberries. Uh, make some really cute stuff with their dies. I do believe they're all original. I would never buy anything that at all it seems like a knockoff. Um, not knowingly ever. <laughs> I really hate that that's an aspect of our industry, of our hobby. Um, you know, that great companies like MFT have to be so vigilant about protecting their artistic license and their their brand because people rip it off i just it's it's disgraceful but whatever so anyways um 
I'm just building some scenes with pattern paper. This has been my go-to for years. It is my comfort zone. So when I get cute critters like this and I want to make scene cards, I typically build like these vignettes like I'm doing today and build my scene cards this way. Okay, so I'm doubling up my center paper, but just putting one layer of this border, this oval border on my paper. I'm keeping these pretty flat. I will be mailing them out this week. And, um, you know, the post office likes your packages flat, not fat. So I'm keeping it pretty flat. These are going out to two friends who need some encouragement. I bought this stamp set, one, because I knew it would be extremely versatile. Like this little stand, you could just cover up that little red cross uh, with ephemera or another little, you know, circle die that you put some fruit in or whatever. Like this could be a cute little stand for lots of things. Plus, I liked all the sentiments. And I think I only have two Get Well stamp sets out of, uh, I don't even want to think about it, hundreds of stamp sets. <laughs> So, yeah, it's definitely filling a void in my collection. And these little images are just so cute. I love this illustrator. This artist who draws these up is fantastic. Just storybook precious. All right. So that one was done, except for we'll come back later and add some sequins. We'll move on to this one. And this little giraffe, I mean, I colored up all the critters, but I was so excited about this little giraffe. I have a soft spot for giraffes, even though really I think I have a soft spot for all animals. Except for, I guess I learned this weekend, maybe not platypus or aardvarks. Um, my daughter and I were playing Would You Rather. We have a book of Would You Rather questions. And the question was, would you rather have a pet aardvark or a pet platypus? Well, I know pretty much nothing about both of those. So, you know, I could just pick one. It didn't really matter to me. Usually those Would You Rathers, we contemplate them more. Anyways, uh, it's fun. We we like to we like to just play that as a family. We keep it at the table sometimes and ask "Would you rather" questions during dinner. We also keep a gratitude journal at our table, and everyone will go around and say something they're grateful for in the day, and I'll date it, put it back with the salt and pepper shakers, and we move on. So in our house, books collect around the dining room table. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> I imagine that there's other families that are like that, but definitely there's always a lot of books around. I figure that's a good thing, right? Feed your body, feed your mind. All right. So I just think this is so precious. Love it. I hope it brings joy to the recipient. And now I'm just going to stamp out a few of these same sentiments. I only needed one, but I figured I had a long strip. I might as well fill it up, stamp all those out. I'll just put that sentiment strip with the stamp set and then I won't have to stamp it again. The next time I need that sentiment. So I just popping this up with some foam tape. Trying to get it straight. 
That's usually a good thing. Unless you don't want it straight. And now I'm using this Catherine Puller sequins again. Oh guys, am I wearing you out with these? I know it's been like the last four or five videos that I've used these same sequins, but I love them. <laughs> I really like the sizes. I really like the colors. And like I said, probably in the last two videos, I really like these crystal flowers. When my spending freeze is over, I'm going to find those crystal flowers and I'm going to buy a bag of them. <laughs> I like to layer them up on top of the sequins. Okay, so I just brought in some yellow card bases from my stash and this is how the cards look close up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it inspires you maybe to make some get well cards for your stash and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye!